Search for Dr. Panda. Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Hiya. Today, Pip is driving the Panda City bus. Beep, beep. Let's hop on board and see where he's going to take us. Hi, Yopa. Hi, Olette. Are you waiting for Bip's bus to arrive? Oh, what's the matter, Olette? Is the bus late? Hmm, where could Bip be? Bip! Bip! Wake up! Did you forget you're driving the bus today? Well, you'd better hurry up! Your passengers are waiting! Here comes the bus, guys! Bip's bus has room for eight people. Can you help Bip keep count of his passengers? Here we go. Hoopa's on board. That's one. And Olette makes two. Now Bip has two passengers. All right. On to the next stop, Bip. Here are some more passengers waiting to board the bus. Let's keep counting Bip's passengers. That makes three, four, five, and that's six. Now Bip has six passengers on his bus. So first we had two passengers on the bus. Then four more passengers came on board. And when you add two and four together, you get Six! Let's get back on the road, Bip! Hmm, there's no one waiting to get on at this bus stop, but maybe someone needs to get off. Aha! This is Koopa's stop! He's off to work! Okay, everyone, let's count how many passengers are left now Hoopa has gotten off the bus! There were six passengers on the bus, but one of them got off. Do you know how many people are still on board? Yep, that's right! Five! Now there are five passengers on the bus! Great job! On to the next stop, Bip! There's Moo and her chickens! Hi, Moo! Are you taking the bus to the farmer's market? Uh-oh, Bip! There's a problem! There aren't enough seats for everyone! There's only room for eight passengers! Ah! Looks like Bip has an idea! Awesome! Now Moo can go to the farmer's market with all of her chickens! Now Moo and her chickens are dropped off at the farmer's market, what's her next stop? Uh, Bip? Bip? Hmm, maybe wearing headphones when you're driving isn't a great idea. Ah, watch out, Bip! The traffic lights have turned red! Stop! Whew, just in time! You almost drove through the red light! Maybe we should go over the traffic rules, Bip. Okay, let's look at the traffic light colors and go over what they mean. If the light is green, it means you can go. Green, go, vroom! When the light is yellow, it means attention! The light is about to change! Yellow! If the light is red, it means you have to stop! Red, stop! That's right, Toto! Now can you help Bip remember what the traffic light colors mean? Watch out for the traffic lights and shout together with me! Stop when we see red, attention when we see yellow, and when we see green, we shout... Go! That's right! Go! So, what color is this traffic light? Green! Green! That's right, Toto! It's green! And green is for... 
go! Okay, everyone. If you see another traffic light, look at the color and shout with me. Stop, attention, or go! Now, what color is this traffic light? Red! That's right! Red! And red means... Stop! Well done! Whoa! What was that? Oh no, Ziggy! You didn't stop for the red light! You almost bumped into Moo and her chickens! Didn't you know the red light means... Stop! Okay, Bip. The traffic light has turned green. You can go, Bip. Let's see if we can spot more traffic lights. There's one! What color is that traffic light? Yellow! That's right! Yellow! And that means... Attention! Great job, Bip! Just in time for that zebra crossing! <laughs> we almost didn't see you there, Mr. Zebra! Awesome! Now you remember what all the lights mean perfectly! Where are you off to now? Oh, I get it! You're taking Richie to his chess club! Huh? This isn't the right stop for Richie's chess club! Why have you stopped in the middle of the road, Bip? Oh, I see! It's a traffic jam! All these cars are stuck in traffic! Richie's worried that he'll be late for his chess club! No worries, Richie! We're gonna find out what's blocking the traffic! Hmm, I wonder what it is. It looks like it's something yellow. Banana! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a banana, Toto. Oh, there's poor Moo. She's stuck in traffic, too. Don't worry. We'll get moving soon. <laughs> Hi, Olette. Some traffic jam, huh? <laughs> so that's what's causing this traffic jam. It's Hoopa's bulldozer. Looks like he fell asleep behind the wheel and stopped moving. Hey, Hoopa! Time to wake up! Bip needs something to wake up Hoopa so he can move his bulldozer. Can you help Bip decide what's the best way to wake Hoopa up? Okay, what could we use from the bus to wake him up? We could turn on the headlights? Or the window wipers? the bus horn or the radio which one would be best for the job to wake Hoopa up the headlights the window wipers the bus horn or the radio uh, beep beep that's right the horn here we go on the count of three, let's shout toot toot! Can you do that? One, two, three! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey there, Hoopa! You're blocking the road with your bulldozer. Could you move it, please? Oh, thanks, Hoopa! All right! The road is open again! Let's go, Bip! Good job, Bip! Richie made it on time for his chess club! So, Bip, what's your next stop? Oh, I see! You're taking Olette to her basketball game! So, you're going to the basketball field in Panda City Park! Whoa! 
What's going on, Bip? Are we there already? Oh no! The road ahead is being repaired! We can't reach the park this way! Good thinking, Bip! You're going to find a new route! Let's see now. Our bus is here. And the Panda City Park is over there. We can't take the street straight ahead, so we need to find a new way to get to the park. Look, Bip, the map is showing you a new direction. Hmm, it looks like first you'll have to cross the bridge. Can you help Bip figure out which way to go? Okay, do we need to go left or right to cross the bridge? Yep, you got it! We need to go right! Another intersection! Let's take a look on the map to see which way we need to go. Aha! Looks like we need to pass the Panda Beach Lighthouse next! Do we need to go left or right to pass the lighthouse? Yep, that's it! We need to turn left! Oh, the map says we'll have to cross the train tracks next! Okay, do we need to go left, right, or straight ahead to cross the train tracks? That's correct! We need to go straight ahead! Oh, hang on! There's a train coming! We'll have to wait until it passes! Let's wave at the passengers! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Let's go, Bip! We're nearly there! All we have to do is go through the tunnel and we'll be at the park! Here we go! Whoa, it's really dark! Better turn your lights on, Bip! Great job, Bip! You got Olette to the park on time for her game! Uh, Olette? Didn't you forget something? You forgot your basketball! <laughs> Have a good game, Olette! Awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> your bus is empty! You must be almost done for today! Are you heading home? Only one more stop at the Panda City Fair and it's time to head home! Whoa! There are a lot of passengers waiting to go home! <laughs> Come on, Bip! You can't quit yet! Just one more trip and then you can go home! I know what'll make this more fun, Bip! Music! Let's turn on that radio! All aboard Bip's bus, everyone! Time to get rolling! Here we go! Back on the road, a passenger load My friends and faces and places I go It's my bus it's for all of us! Stop number one, go and have fun, goodbye! Yeah! Oh, we're back on the road, a passenger load Driving through the country and the places I know Stop number two, it's for you, goodbye! Bye! Riding through Panda City Oh, we sure look good to me the people, they look so friendly Here we are now, it's stop number three Feels like I'm almost home One more stop to go Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's gone to E And that E means it's... Empty! Push and shove Phew! What a long day it's been Move that bus Fill it up Right to the top To the top Hurrying 
going up, going to the number four stop. Yeah! Oh, we're back on the road, a passenger load. My friends and faces and the places I go. It's my bus. It's for all of us. Stop number four, there are no more. Goodbye! It's been a long day, I'm parking my bus I won't complain or make a fuss But I'm going home, yeah, goodbye! Whew. Wow, Bip, that sure was a long day You did a great job bringing everyone home safely, Bip But how are you going to get home? <laughs> awesome, Bip! everyone! Mamie is shopping for a Christmas tree! She's invited everyone over to her place to celebrate Christmas Eve! Ho ho ho! Christmas! <laughs> Let's go see how she's doing! Hi, Mamie! You see anything you like? Oh, is it this one? No? Oh, you mean this one. This one is bigger. Whoa, that is the biggest Christmas tree I've ever seen. Are you sure you want this tree, Mei Mei? Awesome. That's one happy customer, Ziggy. But... How are you going to get that tree all the way to your house, Mei Mei? Great! Looks like Bip will be happy to help you carry the tree home! Uh-oh! The tree's gotten stuck! Hmm, this might take a while. Let's go see how Mei Mei's getting on! Huh? Where did Mei Mei go? Uh, there you are! Wow! You got a lot of stuff in your attic, Mei Mei! Oh, I see! You're getting the Christmas decorations to put on the tree! Awesome! You get the decorations downstairs, and we'll go see how Bip's getting on with moving the tree! The tree's still stuck in the door, and where's Bip? Ah, looks like Bip has a plan. Bip, Bip, go, go, go! <gasps> well, um, at least the tree is inside the house now. Hmm, I don't think you can decorate the tree with those, Mei Mei. Mm -hmm. No worries, Mei Mei. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. And I've got a great idea. Let's take another look up in your attic and see if we can find some other stuff to hang on the tree. Okay, so first we need something round to replace the Christmas balls. Can you spot something round? Yep, those balls of wool will be perfect for hanging on the tree. Hmm. Okay. Now we need to spot something long to replace that broken string of beads. Do you see something long? Awesome! That long feather boa will look beautiful! Now all we need is a tree topper to finish the tree. Oh! Oh no! The guests are here and the tree isn't finished! <laughs> What are you doing, Bip? Aw, oh, that cookie makes an awesome tree topper! What a beautiful Christmas tree it turned out to be! Merry Christmas, everyone! Ho, ho, ho! Christmas! Ho, 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 everyone! It's Christmas time! Christmas! Everyone's coming to my place to celebrate Christmas before Santa Claus brings our presents! Santa! Let's go get the party started, Toto! Merry Christmas, every... 
one? Huh? Why isn't anyone here? Bip promised to pick up everybody in his bus. Hey, Bip, wake up! Uh, you were supposed to pick up everyone in your bus. We're celebrating Christmas at my house, remember? Uh, Bip, where did you go? Hmm? Could you put on some lights? We can't see anything. Ooh, pretty. Wow, your bus looks awesome. Okay, let's get going, Bip. Everyone will be waiting. Oh, look, it's starting to snow, Bip. Snow, snow. We love snow, but this is turning into a snowstorm. We can hardly see a thing. Uh-oh. Bip! Bip! Where are you? Whew! That was one heavy snowstorm. Hey, what's that? Santa! It's Santa Claus! Uh-oh! Santa's sleigh is stuck in the snow! How will you deliver your presents now? Hmm. I don't think using your bus will work, Bip. All the roads are covered in snow from the snowstorm. You and Santa aren't going anywhere. Good idea, Bip. We can call a lad to rescue you and Santa. Bip and Santa need your help, Alet. You've got to save Christmas. Uh, Olette, you won't reach Santa in your fire truck. All the roads are covered in snow. You need something that can drive through snow. That's more like it. But which one would be best for Olette to clear the roads with? Let's take a closer look. Let's see. Should Olette use the snowmobile? Or... Should she use the sled? <laughs> that sure looks like fun. Or should she use the snowplow? Can you help Olette decide? Should she use the snowmobile, the sled, or the snowplow to clear all the snow on the road? Sled! Sled! Riding on the sled would be a lot of fun, Toto, but it won't help Olette clear the roads. Yep, you got it! Olette should use the snowplow to clear the roads. Hang on, Santa! Hang on, Bip! Olette's coming to rescue Christmas! Awesome job, Olette! Now Bip can pick up our friends! And Santa can deliver all the presents! Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! Hey there, May May! Are you taking the bus to your dance class today? May May? May May. <laughs> I don't think she can hear us, Toto. Hi there, Bip! <laughs> well, I'm afraid she hasn't noticed you, Bip. <laughs> Here we go! Off to May May's dance lesson! Awesome! Now we can all enjoy your music, May May! Uh huh! Yeah! It's nice to see you enjoying the music, but you need to pay attention to the road. Here we are! May May's dancing school! Dance! Dance! Whoa! Bip! Bip! Slow down! You totally missed May May stop! You weren't paying attention! You need to keep your eyes on the road, Bip! You better find somewhere you can turn around! Uh-oh! Your bus looks pretty stuck, Bip. 
How will you get Maymay to her dancing lesson now? No worries, Bip. I've got an idea. I'll go and ask Hooper for help. Hoopa! Hoopa! Wake up! Quick, Hoopa! You need to go and help Bip! His bus is stuck in a ditch just outside of town. Awesome! One of these will definitely help get Bip's bus out. Hmm. Hoopa can't decide which one to use. Can you help him decide which of these would be best to pull the bus out of the hole? Let's take a look. Should he use the forklift truck? Or the bulldozer? Or the tow truck? Or the limousine? So, should Hoopa use the forklift truck, the bulldozer, the tow truck, or the limo? Yep, you got it! The tow truck! Truck! Hoopa can use its hook and chain to pull the bus out of the ditch! No worries, Bip! Hoopa is on his way! Your bus is back on the road. But where did Mimi go? <laughs> Looks like Mimi prefers to take the limo instead of the bus. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Hey there, Bip. I see you're driving the number eight bus today. That's your lucky number, isn't it? Whoa, Bip! That was a pretty big puddle of mud. Uh-oh, Bip! Your bus is so dirty that people don't want to get on it. You'd better get it cleaned up before your next stop. No worries, Bip! Head down to Hoopa's car wash and your bus will be cleaned up in no time. Yay! Car wash, car wash! Hi there, Hoopa! Bip needs to use your car wash to clean his bus. Oh, what's wrong, Hoopa? Can't you remember how to operate the car wash? No worries. Just check the instruction manual. Each button starts a different part of the car wash. The triangle starts the water. The square starts the soap. And the circle starts the brushes. All Hoopa needs to do is push the buttons in the right order. Then Bip's bus will be sparkling clean again. Can you help Hoopa remember the right order for the buttons? Let's go through it one more time. First, he needs to press the triangle. Then the square. Then the circle. And then the triangle again. First, we need water. So, which button do we need to press first? The triangle, square, or the circle? Triangle. That's right! Push it, Hoopa! Now we need to cover the bus in soap. Which button does Hoopa need to press next? Square. That's right! Now we need to scrub off all the mud with the brushes. Okay, so which button was for the brushes? Circle. Push it, Hoopa! Hey, Bip, maybe you should close your window. No. Oops. There's just one last button Hoopa needs to push mm -hmm. to finish cleaning Bip's bus. Do you remember which button Hoopa needs to press? Triangle. Uh, Bip, you might want to close that window now. The water is coming. Awesome job, Hoopa. 
You've made Bip's bus all clean again. But we might still have a huh? problem. Bip left the window open and, and all the water came inside. No worries, Bip. I'm sure Hoopa has a great machine to help you dry your bus. A hair dryer! Good thinking, Hoopa! Hiya, Bip! Aren't you driving the bus today? Uh, you are? Hmm, that's a pretty bad traffic jam. I guess no one's moving right now. Looks like your chickens are tired of sitting in their seats, Moo. They want to play. No. Hey, I know what we can do to pass the time. We can play I Spy with My Little Eye. Yee-hee, I spy. I spy with my little eye. It's a great game to play when you're stuck in traffic. Do you want to play I Spy with My Little Eye with us? Awesome! It's really easy to play. Let me show you. I say, I spy with my little eye something with the color blue. And then you have to guess what that blue thing is. That's right, Toto! I was looking at the sky! Awesome! <laughs> Let's play! Okay, here we go! I spy with my little eye something red! Oh! That's right, Toto! That ball is red! Oops! <laughs> We're moving! Nope, we're stuck again. Moo! No worries, Moo. We can play another game of I Spy. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green. <laughs> I'm spying something with my little eye very close to me. <laughs> yes, Toto! It's you! You're something green! Yay! <laughs> hey, look, guys! We're moving again! Uh-oh! Stuck again! Hey, where did Moo go? <laughs> Good thinking, Moo! Sometimes it's better to take a walk! <laughs> No worry, Ziggy. I know a game we can play. Yay, I spy, I spy. Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. Hey there, Bip. Where are you off to today? Oh, I see. You're taking Leo home. Oh, that ice cream looks good, Leo. What's that? Uh-oh, the bus is almost out of fuel, Bip. You need to get to a gas station, fast! Oh no, it's too late! You're out of fuel, Bip. Too bad about your ice cream, Leo. But how will you get home now? What do you see, Bip? Looks like good news! It is good news! That's Richie's gas station, and it's just down the road! Hmm, do you think you can push the bus to the station? Let's cheer Bip and Leo on and shout, push! Ready, steady, push! Yes! You did it! Whoa! Whee! Oh, hey there, Richie. 
Can you fill up Bip's bus, please? Okay, it's Dr. Panda Toto time! Bip's bus needs 10 liters of fuel to fill it up. Can you help us count the numbers on the pump until it gets to 10? Let's start counting! One, two, three, four, five, six. Is the tank full already? Nope, the tank needs 10 liters to be full. Keep pumping, Richie. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome! The tank is full! Now we just need to go inside and pay for the fuel. <laughs> okay, Richie, how much do we need to pay for the fuel? Great! We need to pay Richie eight panda dollars. Bip has a ten dollar note, but Bip only needs to pay Richie eight. So, how many dollars does Richie need to give Bip back? Two! Wow, Toto, you're so smart! Because 10 minus 8 equals 2. Richie needs to give Bip $2 back. Good job, guys! And now it's time to drive Leo home! <laughs> Guess you don't need to go home just yet, huh, Leo? Enjoy your ice creams, guys! The wheels on Pip's bus go round and round Round and round, round and round The wheels on Pip's bus go round and round All through the town The wipers on Pip's bus go swish, swish, swish Swish, swish, swish Swish, swish, swish The wipers on Bip's bus go swish, swish, swish All through the town The horn on Bip's bus goes beep, beep, beep Beep, beep, beep Beep, beep, beep The horn on Bip's bus goes beep, beep, beep All through the town Hoopa on Bip's bus goes up yeah. and down yeah. Up yeah. and down yeah. Up yeah. and down All through the town The chickens on Bip's bus go cluck, cluck, cluck Cluck, cluck, cluck Cluck, cluck, cluck The chickens on Bip's bus go cluck, cluck, cluck All through the town Moo on Bip's bus goes shh Bip's bus goes shh, shh, shh All through the town The wheels on Bip's bus go round and round Round and round, round and round The wheels on Bip's bus go round and round All through the town All through the town! <laughs> Hi there! Stick around for more Toto Time episodes and be sure to subscribe to our channel. <laughs>